All right, now that you've put the Mac OS X installation disk into the DVD drive and you're starting to boot up, it's going to behave much like it did before. You notice that it showed us the little folder with the question mark saying that it can't find the operating system. But then it's going to go ahead and show the little Apple symbol. And as uh, it searches for the DVD installation files, it's going to begin booting from the installation disk. From there we're going to go in and format this hard drive. Alright, now uh, this uh, boot up process using the DVD will take quite a while, so don't get freaked out by that. But eventually you'll see the blue screen show up saying that Mac OS X is, in, is updating or is uh, up booting. And then it'll go to the gray screen where we're going to get our first uh, dialogue question. What language do you want to use? We're of course going to pick English. And we'll click on that button there to go to the next screen. Now when that one pops up, don't do anything. Just wait for the menu to show up at the top. We're going to go to Utilities and Disk Utility. We have to format this new hard drive. So the 2 terabyte Western Digital, that's our backup disk. The Matsicha, Matsita DVD-R, that's the DVD disk. So this one is our new drive. We have put in a 500 gigabyte Western Digital. You would think it would be format but instead we actually have to pick erase and you can give it a name we're gonna call it Macintosh HD click erase it'll ask you are you certain we'll say yes we erase it'll begin partitioning it and it's just that quick now you're ready to exit out of here You'll go back to Utilities, and now you'll pick Restore System from Backup. This is really the fastest way to do it. Click on Continue. It's going to look for our backup disk, which is the My Book. Click Continue. And we'll have a long list of backups. We're going to select the top one because that's the most recent one that was done just before we started this project, and hit Continue. It's going to search for a place to put it. We just formatted it, so there's our pick. We'll hit Restore. Now you'll notice, before we hit this Continue button, it said we had a 500 gigabyte disk, but this is only showing 465. That's normal. The marketers at Western Digital tell us we bought a 500 gigabyte disk. What we really bought was a 465 gigabyte disk. And that is because they use a different kind of math. Uh, I think it's basically dishonest, and I think there ought to be a law against it. But they'd rather call it a 500 gigabyte because it sounds better. But you understand, this isn't unusual. This is exactly the way it ought, ought to be based on their dishonesty. So now we're going to go ahead and hit Continue. And let it go through the restore process. You don't know how long this will take. It depends on how much you're restoring. Uh, but it should take uh, quite a while. Uh, anywhere from an hour, maybe even two to three hours. So we're going to go ahead and let it do that restore disk. Uh, once it's done, you're going to reboot the computer and you'll be ready to go. But uh, this is the project and as long as everything starts back up the next time you're done and you reboot it, then you're done. You have now upgraded to a much faster hard drive in your Macintosh, uh, your MacBook Pro. This has been Kevin Purcell for Notebooks.com. Thank you for watching.